How to defeat lust. Hey, how's it going? I'm hanging out underneath the tent that we use for our house church. Lucy's right here swinging next to me. And if you're unmarried and you're struggling with sexual sin, with lust, with porn, I'm going to share with you what I did to get victory. One story, one verse. Let's get into it. When I was in college, I walked into this office one day that some of my friends worked at, and there was this girl there who I knew of, and she just started downloading this emotional baggage to me, telling me stories about her parents' divorce and how it was televised and all this really heavy stuff, stuff that you don't tell someone the first time you meet them. But I had never experienced this before, and so I thought to be polite, I have to unload some emotional baggage on her, and so I did. That made us connect intimately, emotionally. It uh, was unhealthy, but it turned into an emotional relationship. We started hanging out, talking, studying together. But one night it turned into more than studying and hanging out and talking. And I went back to my room that night and I was mad. I was mad at her. I was mad at myself. Uh, because she was this Christian girl who I had told I'm trying to practice purity and she was all for that. But then in the moment, she and I were both for the wrong type of behavior. So I said, God, I want to obey you. I don't want to keep struggling with this. And he turned to me a verse that I had heard about, but I forgot about. It's 1 Corinthians 7, 9. It says, But if they cannot control themselves, they should marry, for it is better to marry than to burn with passion. I heard that. It's Apostle Paul, you know, telling unmarried people, you know, if you you should be single so you can just be committed to ministry and committed to the kingdom. But if you have these passions, these lusts, and you can't control them, then get married. And I'm like, okay, God, I know I know that. I want to do that, of course. But he said, Alex, do you? And so for the first time ever, I prayed the prayer that was going to free me from sexual lust. For the first time ever, I prayed, God, give me a spouse. And I wasn't praying to get married for my own desires. I was praying to get married because I wanted to be obedient to God. I'd never prayed that before. But the key is not to just pray about marriage. The key is to pray and not delay. You can't just sit around at home thinking these people are going to walk into my life or the people in my life that I want to marry, they're just going to change and then they'll be a good spouse for me, a good Christian spouse. That's not going to happen. What you have to do is you have to pray and not delay. For me, what that looked like is I went to a new church. I started hanging out with different college kids that didn't go to my school. I started being around finding groups of people who wanted to follow God and give everything to God, putting myself in those situations and very soon after, God put Lokalani in my life. She was at one of those, that one of the new churches I went to. And I was able to pursue, pursue her and see her pursuing the Lord. And it happened because I prayed about it and I did not delay. That's my question to you. Are you praying about it? Are you praying, God, give me a spouse? And are you delaying? Are you delaying? Get out. Get off Tinder. Get off the gram. Go find a group of people that are your age, that want to pursue God. Don't know, don't have that? Pray about it and then don't delay. Pray and then go look for it. This is how you're going to get the power to do it. You have to realize, to defeat my lust, I have to realize that I am defeated. That's what I realized. I realized, God, without you, I'm defeated. The only way I'm going to defeat lust is to first realize that I am defeated and then turn to Him for the victory. To pray and not delay. And the strength comes from knowing that Jesus burned under the wrath of God so that you would not burn with lust. That's why Christ went to the cross, to free you. It is for freedom that Christ has set you free. Don't be a slave to anything. Pray and do not delay. And look to him, the one who burned under God's wrath, so that you would not have to burn with lust. I love you. Hope this helps. I think Lucy is ready to get out of the swing. And so check out Amen Podcast because preaching changes hearts and the gospel changes everything. Listen to that podcast. I promise it'll help you grow so much closer to God. Available everywhere. See you in the next one. Good job.